Hello, welcome to News Review from BBC Learning English. I'm Tom. Joining me today is Catherine. Hi, Catherine. Hello, Tom, and hello, everybody. Today's story is all about the final stages of the Brexit talks, which are happening this week. Don't forget, if you want to test yourself on the vocabulary that we study today, you can go to www.bbclearningenglish.com for a quiz. Now, let's hear more about this story from BBC Newsday. Talks resume today between Britain and the European Union as they try to agree a post-Brexit trade deal. It's unclear when the discussions might conclude. Negotiators from each side have been given differing interpretations of what stage they're at. So, the story today is all about talks between the European Union and the UK, which are happening right now. The two sides are attempting to agree a post-Brexit trade deal. What they're looking at is ways to agree a future trading relationship between Europe and the UK. The talks now are being seen as the last opportunity to strike a deal. And we've got three expressions and phrases that we can use to talk about this topic. What are they, Catherine? They are one last push, hang in the balance and on a knife edge. One last push, hang in the balance and on a knife edge. Catherine, let's have a look at your first headline, please. Absolutely. We're with BBC News right here in the UK. The headline, Brexit, UK and EU make one last push for trade deal. One last push, one final effort. What can you tell us about this expression, Catherine? Yes, it's a three-word expression. One, O-N-E, last, L-A-S-T and push, P-U-S-H. One last push is a final effort after a lot of work or effort to achieve something. So it's that last bit of hard work you do to achieve a goal. Mm, so you said it's a fixed expression. Can we have two last pushes or two final pushes? Um, you can have one final push, but it's the idea of one. So you can have one last push, you can have a last push, a final push, one final push, but mm. you wouldn't have to, not normally. Yeah, so it's the last part of, we could say, a difficult process. Absolutely. So push normally we would use as a verb, but in this expression it's a noun, isn't it? It is a noun, yes. It's a noun phrase, one last push or one final push. The verb we would use with it would usually be make, to make a la to make one last push or possibly to give one last push. Yeah, we could say to give it one last push, we might <laughs> say in some day-to-day yeah. -day conversation. So talking about day-to-day -day conversation, we've been talking about trade deals. How can we use one last push, you know, in our normal spoken English? Well, anything you've been working really hard to achieve. Maybe you've been, you know, decorating a room and it's taken a lot of time and you've just got a bit more to do. And you're not looking forward to it, but you say, come on, one last push and we'll get this finished. Yeah. Yeah. We're all covered in paint and we're tired, yeah, but we'll just do this last day and we will be get finished. Yeah. yeah, my exactly. mum used to use this expression for me as well when we were doing, when I was doing revision as Ugh. a child. Yeah, so I'd revise for my exams and the day before my exam, I'd say, oh, I just don't want to revise anymore. And she'd say, come on, give it one last push and then you're done. Very supportive mum you've got, Tom. <laughs> she is. She's great. OK, talking of revision and reviewing, let's look at what we've just studied with a slide. OK, we've got another video looking at the word push, don't we? We do. It's an episode of Six Minute English. It's an absolute cracker. So just click the link to watch the show. You know what to do. Click that link. Wonderful. OK, Catherine, can we have your next headline, please? Yes, we can. We are staying here in the UK, this time with The Guardian. The headline is Breakthrough on Fishing Rights as Brexit Talks Hang in the Balance. Hang in the Balance remain in an uncertain state. What can you tell us about this expression, Catherine? 
Well, it's a four-word expression this time. Hang, H-A-N-G, then the preposition in, I-N, the, T-H-E, and finally balance, B-A-L-A-N-C-E. Hang in the balance. Now, if something hangs in the balance, it means we don't know what the result will be. There is more than one possible result and we just don't know which one. So it describes a very precarious and uncertain situation. And what kind of situation would we use this with? Do we use it for sort of everyday situations? Could I say, I don't know whether I'm going to do my homework. It's hanging in the balance. <laughs> well, that's a bit... Well, the thing is with hang in the balance, it's usually for quite serious and important situations. Things where there's a lot of kind of... There's a lot of... The, the consequences could be really serious. So probably not your homework. It could be for your exam results. If you're mm. really not sure whether you're going to get an A or a B, you could say, oh, it's hanging in the balance. Maybe maybe it's gone to a, a tribunal or a discussion where you're waiting for news of what will happen. Mm. So serious situations. Often we use it when somebody's really, really ill. We can say their life is hanging in the balance. We don't know if they're going to survive or not. Good. Now you said life is hanging in the balance. Another common word we could use is survival because again that sort of really big important topic and you also use the present continuous right? You said it is hanging in the balance. Can you explain why you did this? Well yes ha we often use this verb in the continuous form because it's talking about something that's happening now. The process is taking place right now. We don't know what the outcome will be, but the drama is unfolding right now. So whereas the headline uses present simple, hangs in the balance, that's what headlines do. They like present, they like present simple, but in everyday English, you'll talk about things hanging in the balance. The action's happening now. The result is unknown. That was an excellent summary, Catherine. I don't have anything else to add. Well done. Let's go to our slide. Okay, we've been talking about Brexit. We have a lot of videos on Brexit, don't we? We do, yes. These negotiations started three years ago and we've got a nice throwback video. Take you back to the start of Brexit. Just click the link to find out where it all started. You go all the way back to 2017. Great, okay, so Catherine, can we have a look at your next headline, please? Yes, we're finishing here in the UK with the Financial Times, the headline, UK trade talks with EU on knife edge, says Irish Premier. On a knife edge, in a difficult situation with two different results possible. Can you tell us some more, please, Catherine? Yes, we've got four words in this expression, starting with on, O-N, second word, a, the letter a, third word, knife, K-N-I-F-E, and finally, edge, E-D-G-E, -E, on a knife edge. Now, Tom, you know what knives are. <laughs> they're not to be played with, yeah, they're serious, they, they are serious instruments. Especially the edge of a knife, isn't it? Yeah, so I guess this is, I suppose we just talked about hanging in the balance, which describes uncertainty. And now on a knife edge also describes uncertainty. But what's the, what's the difference? Well, nobody wants to be on a knife edge. A knife edge is very sharp, very dangerous and very fine. So if something is on a knife edge, it's really kind of precarious and a dangerous situation. Again, we don't know the result, but this is talking about a really fine difference between possible outcomes, and it also describes the seriousness of the situation. Very, very dramatic, mm. but we don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, so it's a prepositional phrase, and it's sort of, you know, as you said, it uses knives and knife edges and stuff. It's quite dramatic, isn't it? To sort of show the seriousness of a situation. Yes, absolutely. And again, if you think about your homework example, you couldn't say, my homework is on a knife edge. <laughs> it's, we're talking about really big, serious situations here. So, do you know where I heard this one quite recently, actually? When I was watching the presidential elections, elections in, the, in US, the US, 
they said that the vote in Georgia was on a knife edge. There was a very, very small number of votes that made a difference. And yeah. they couldn't predict who was going to be the victor in Georgia. Yes. Georgia. Could yes. have gone either way. Yes. No, very good example. And it, it's a very, very serious situation. Very, very close result. Finally, it was decided, but it was such a small margin. It's a very good example of something being on a knife edge. Great. Okay. Thank you, Catherine. Let's go to our slide. Catherine, can you recap today's vocabulary, please? Of course. We had one last push, which means one final effort. Then we looked at hang in the balance, which means remain in an uncertain state. And finally, on a knife edge in a Difficult situation with two different results possible. Don't forget, you can test yourself on all of today's vocabulary on our website, bbclearningenglish.com. And of course, we are all over social media as well. That's it from us. Thanks for being with us on News Review and see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.